Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. What did you say? Yes, it is sunscreen season. Morning, everybody. Leah here. Today, we're doing the annual sunscreen roundup, the best sunscreen of this year, 2023 edition. Now, I think I've probably tested more than 300 sunscreens in my whole entire life. I think this product category is something that I'm like super obsessed with because there's so many, you know, restrictions, regulations, and also challenges around just formulating a sunscreen because of the raw material is just so gloopy, chalky, pasty, and also very oily. I think it's a very exciting category to observe creativity and innovation and of course this year I think there are really really great sunscreens out here that I'm proud to introduce for each skin type skin concern skin condition or whatever your skincare goal is but at the end of the day I think all the sunscreens here today are superior just beautiful formulas let's get right into it oh wait before we get into it I want to share my skin type my skin is combination leaning towards to an oily side especially during the summer month and I still have sensitivity so some and most chemical sunscreens actually do sting and irritate my skin but the formulas that I brought today to show you guys they are absolutely amazing for sensitive skin um, I'm not talking about the eye sensitivity though I think eye sensitivity is something that I cannot really guess or assume so some chemicals on screens here may sting your eyes or not if you do have sensitive eyes but for me these were great 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 options that didn't sting my skin and my eyes so moving on to the very first option is my own baby crepe beauty beat the sun SPF 40 broad spectrum PA triple plus this is made in the USA with a lot of blood so in tears to be honest in the past two years while we were working on this we have went through so many prototypes so many iterations and so many challenges with the restrictions and regulations and also just the challenge itself that's with uh, that's surrounded with the UV filters that we're allowed to use here in the States this is a chemical sunscreen using four different UV filters you guys know that I always emphasize the importance of antioxidants especially when it comes to UV protection I look for sunscreen formula that has either vitamin C or any antioxidants and for that reason we incorporated beetroot extract and also a humectant hyaluronic acid this is going to be super hydrating upon contact of your skin when you apply this you would be amazed by how easy it applies and how quickly it disappears on top of your skin it just literally melts into your skin so I think this is a really great all-arounder for those just who hate applying sunscreen. I have many, many, many success just convincing my friends who never wore sunscreen when I just put this on their hands, their life has changed. I'm really proud of our team. And then I think one of the best things or the best reviews that we get around this product is the beautiful glowy dewy finish. So if you are a fan of that glass skin look or the glowy skin look, this product is the way to go. Now, if you're a fan of Korean sunscreens, I do have one option for you. And this is gonna be also really great for acne prone skin, sensitive skin. And if you just literally hate American sunscreens, I think this product is the way to go. And no, it is not the Beauty of Just Hun or Round Lab product, although those formulas are also equally great. This is Etude Sunjong and Director Pai's The Moisture Sunscreen, because they also do have a mineral sunscreen version that that is really gloopy and chalky and very, very pasty, but the chemical sunscreen version that they co-developed is so stunning. It's so superior to a lot of other sunscreen formulas out there in Korea as well. This one is developed with director Pai, who is another Korean skincare YouTuber. If you are a fan of Korean skincare products, I'm sure you're very familiar with her channel as well. She literally decodes and dissects all the products, ingredients, and all that. So she developed this product in collaboration with Etude, and this is a Colmar Korea formula. So it's very similar to your favorites beauty of Joseon and round labs but i believe this is more easy to apply and it's more hydrating and it just feels really pleasant to apply because this sunscreen is a part of the sunjong line which is really great for any sensitive skin who 
gets irritated with literally anything. This is fragrance free. It does contain panthenol and also madocasticide for not only moisturization, but also great soothing and calming effect. Definitely give this a try. This is also very easy to wash off as well. So you wouldn't need a double cleanse with this. Just a one single foam cleansing would just do the job. Now the next product is probably a surprise for you and it was a really unexpected pleasant surprise for me too. I was in Malaysia traveling with my husband and I went to Guardian or was it Watson's. I picked up this formula and I instantly fell in love. And it is Warda's SPF 50 PA 4 Pluses UV Shield Active Protection Serum. This is an Indonesian brand and I know a lot of you guys recommended me to try this brand and of course I literally went for the sunscreen because why not try a sunscreen while you're in Southeast Asia. So I wanted to give an option for those who live in Southeast Asia who can get Warda. It's available in Guardian or Watson's. And this is a chemical sunscreen. I do believe in the package it said it was made in Korea. It is very liquidy, super fluid. It's one of those types that you need to shake it. This actually dries down to a velvety matte finish to me. So this was perfect for just really humid weather in Malaysia. And I really, really enjoyed using this. The only downside of this product is that it has a really strong fragrance but that kind of disappears right away it doesn't linger around but at first i'm like yeah but overall a stunning formula and it has a really hydrating humectant glycerin and a really soothing ingredient called bicepo ol when you're applying this though you do want to make sure that your skin doesn't really have dead skin cells because it can kind of latch and catch on those dead skin cells especially on the side of your nose so aside that i think this is a really decent formula okay the next one is for my oily skin girlies out there I know your struggle and suffering during the summer months, especially with the humidity. Your skin is literally out of control with the shine and oiliness. So this product is definitely for you. And this is Beauty of Joseon Mugwort and Camellia Matte Sunstick SPF 50 PA4 Pluses. And this is also developed by another YouTuber, influencer, cosmetic chemist called Ramon from Glow by Ramon. And this product is absolutely stunning because First of all, I hate sunsticks because they tend to be super greasy. It, it just leaves a residue that I can't really like handle. But when Ramon released this and said this is a matte sunstick, I was like, please sign me up. And this is a really great mattifying primer that you can layer underneath your makeup. It's made with chemical UV filters or organic filters. That's Uvenol A+, Tinosorb S, Uvenol T150, Polysilicone 15. Literally blurs out your pore. You wouldn't need a primer if you apply this. This is definitely going to be a staple in summer for me. I would be traveling with this everywhere. I would apply this from head to toe. The only downside is that it only has 18 grams, which is 0.63 ounces. So it's definitely not a generous amount, but still, I think it's a really, really great product. You guys know that I love mugwort. It's so amazing for just calming your skin. It's a very, very Korean traditional ingredient. It also has turmeric extract and camellia for moisturizing, silica for just mattifying your skin. So definitely for oily girls. The next product is for those who do need higher protection. So whether you have the tendency to easily develop melasma or skin cancer, I mean like we're all prone to develop in skin cancer, but if you do have a history with those, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic option. This is La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion, Broad Spectrum SPF 70. 70, I've never seen an SPF 70, uh, especially in the state side. And this is an all chemical sunscreen, organic filters using avobenzone, hemosylate, octisylate, octocrylene in the max 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 percentage that's allowed in the monograph of US FDA. This is a beautifully creamy nourishing formula. I would say this is for those who have drier skin as well because it tends to be really greasy just because they pack so much of the UV filters so it's definitely going to lean towards 
it's the greasy side. So whenever I use this, it does leave me a really greasy shine afterwards that's a little bit uncomfortable for my skin. So what I do is I let it sit and then I would apply one ply of tissue and then just blot it, just gently blot it so that your skin doesn't look like it just came out of the fryer. This also has La Roche-Posay's proprietary Celux B3 shield, which is basically a combination of antioxidants and niacinamide. So if you are a fan of niacinamide, this is a really great addition in this. And overall, I think this is a really decent one, and especially when I hate all of the other Anthelio series. For some reason, they just burn my eyes and irritate my skin. But this guy right here, I think it's a stellar. All right, we're gonna move on to some mineral sunscreens now. And when it comes to mineral sunscreens, I personally do prefer American mineral sunscreens. And that might be a shocker to some people who worship Asian formulas or European formulas, but I think the US FDA just really didn't advance the UV filter monograph and therefore there is very limited amount of UV filters that American chemists and formulators can use. Therefore, they probably tend to develop more with zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Therefore, they have maybe better formulation, I don't know. So we're gonna start with SPF 30 range, 40 and then 50. And the first one that we have here is called Lightsaver Activated Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 33. This brand is super duper new. It's a recent launch and it's developed by a dermatologist called Dr. David Kim. And Dr. David Kim is in the same dermatologist's office as Dr. Shireen Idris, whom I both love so much and I think they are so, so knowledgeable and they are just kind and genuine people. So as soon as I got this and as soon as I applied it on my skin, I was literally wowed because the texture is silky whipped. It is really, really hydrating. And as you apply it, it just applies like a really hydrating tinted moisturizer. It disappears to my skin right away. It doesn't really have any cast on my skin tone. And Unlike other tinted mineral sunscreens that rely heavily on silicone, this doesn't really have like dimethicone or any popular silicone oils. This is an absolutely stunning formula. I'm really, really enjoying this formula. And because this is developed by a dermatologist, he really wanted to reverse the sun damage or help prevent the sun damage. So there's ingredients called photolyse which is an innovative ingredient encapsulated in liposome that helps improve sun-induced damage while helping to calm and soothe the skin. There's also niacinamide, which is another great antioxidant, with squalane, which is a really great, just a really lightweight oil, lingonberry, which is really rich in polyphenols. It's a really potent antioxidant-rich tinted mineral sunscreen. I hope you get to try it. It is absolutely amazing. The next mineral sunscreen option that I have here is something that I tried literally yesterday and that made it to this best sunscreen roundup instantly, immediately. And it's something that really discouraged me to develop my own mineral sunscreen because it is that good, it is that superior. I don't know how they did it because the price range is also so affordable. This is from Bubble Skincare Plus One Tinted Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. At first I thought Bubble Skincare was just 14 skincare, but sunscreens are universal, so I'm gonna give it a try. And oh boy, and this is only $19. Zinc oxide is a very expensive raw material, so mineral sunscreens tend to be more expensive than chemical sunscreens. Oh, how did they make this in $19 with a margin? Because this also has a pump dispenser, which is gonna be a more expensive packaging option. So for me, I was so blown away by not only the price point, the packaging, but the formula. It is absolutely stunning. At first, I thought this is rigged. I thought this was a chemical sunscreen. When I was applying it, I, I thought this is no way that this is not a mineral sunscreen. Like literally when you apply it, it's so hydrating, it applies like a sun serum. I don't know. I really don't know how they did it. 
This has 15% zinc oxide. I can't really recognize any SPF booster in the formula, so I hope it is SPF 40, but I think it's a decent amount of percentage. <laughs> it has a beautiful antioxidant called Capu Capu seed butter. It has a high omega-3 profile with lilac extract and raspberry seed extract. This is such a stunning formula. It's so watery. I was so shocked. It doesn't have a cast at all. It just literally disappears on my skin, leaving that beautifully bronzed look. And today I have it on this side of my face, but oh boy, I am so, so shocked. So I hope you give it a try. The next mineral sunscreen is for those who want the maximum protection SPF 50. And if you're looking for another tinted mineral option, it is this. This is Isden Arifatana Ageless Ultra Light Emulsion Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is a Spanish sun care brand. It is widely popular in the European countries. Whenever I ask for recommendations for European formulas, a lot of you said Isden, Isden, Isden. And then especially this tinted mineral sunscreen, when I first applied it, again, I didn't know this was a mineral sunscreen because it was just so weightless. This is also a very, very beautiful formula. If you do want a very demi-matte or velvety finish, uh, this can replace all of your foundations. Seriously, this is so stunning. It's actually very tinted, so it does offer you a decent coverage. So if you do have some redness, I think this will just capture and cancel out all the redness. This has zinc oxide only as well at 10.7%. But this is a very classic silicone formula that has a lot of lightweight silicone oils, especially with alcohol in it. I think it's gonna be perfect for those who have oilier skin as well. I did, I did tell you that this is very, very weightless, but what stands out more is that this contains their own proprietary technology called DNA Repairisms, which basically reverse the existing sun damage. So if you are looking for an anti-aging product, I think this is a really great one. Um, it is $70 for 100 mil, but if you convert that into 50 mil or price per mil, it's very comparable to a lot of sunscreens I showed you today. All right, guys, I saved one of the best for the last. This is something that you will be familiar with because I've featured it multiple times throughout my videos and it's still one of my favorites. And I think it's something that you can just have it in your household and share with your entire family. You can apply from head to toe. It is very affordable if you consider the amount that it comes with. This is Ilium Mild Easy Wash Sun Cream, SPF 50, PA4, pluses and this is such a beautiful formula i still love it it's something that i would travel with on a long 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 travel um, because this is an easy wash formula i wouldn't recommend you going into the beach or into the pool with this but if you have toddlers i think this is a really really great formula for you to apply to them i love it I think it's a really beautiful formula. It's like a very cushiony, pillowy, melts into your skin right away. I mean, it's very, very comfortable on your skin. It's non-irritating. And I think Ilium makes fabulous, fabulous products for especially eczema. And I think if you do have a skin condition, especially on your body and you need to have some protection, maybe give this a try. I hope this works out for you. I know a lot of people do love this for that very reason because it's hypoallergenic and also it's non-irritating great for sensitive skin. Such a classic and it's a very popular formula in Korea. Last but not least, the best sun protection you'll ever have is physical protection. This brand is called Clodend. It's a UPF clothing brand and UPF clothing is very, very different from regular clothing. So if you're into outdoor sports, definitely check it out. It is so flattering. It's just it's really, really cute with a matching tennis skirt. Oh, and of course, if you're going to a beach, definitely bring your sun hat. This is from Cooley Bar. It's collaborated with Bon Donovant or Amy Chang, and it matches Beat the Sun so beautifully. So I've been obsessed and I've been just waiting to go on a beach trip just to wear this and just to wear these like really cute outfit in a sunny city or on a sunny day. But you'll see me wearing this set a lot. I love it. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching again. If you found this video helpful, definitely share this with your friend or on your Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Leah Yu, and I'll see you guys there. Bye!